Hi, Sam here. I've just been to the gym and naturally it got me thinking about performance management. So if you come for a walk with me, let's have a chat. So, performance management and the gym. What are those who connected? Well, why am I at the gym? Um, mostly for a couple of reasons. Pretty tough year at work, a few big projects. I put on about seven kilos, a little bit of overeating, a little few too many late night pizzas. So I've got some weight to lose. I also, getting a bit older, I turn 40 next year, and I want to get into better health. So I've got a couple of objectives. I want to lose weight I've put on, I want to get healthier, and also, if anything, my first few sessions at the gym have exposed a quite shocking lack of upper body strength that I need to work on. So I've got a few objectives for what I'm trying to achieve. So that's my job, if you will. Ah, can you see where I'm going with this? Indeed. At work, we've all got our objectives. We, broadly speaking, know what we're supposed to be doing, what we're trying to achieve. So, surely, we could just, you know, be left to do it, left to it, left to get on with it. You know, we're professionals, we know what's going on, you know, we're idiots. So, what's performance management's role to play in all of this? Well, it's simple enough. We're not robots, we're people. We need a little bit of support. It helps us, it helps to see what's going on. And when it comes to uh, performance management, a lot of the debate comes to the annual review, like ratings. Are ratings in? Are they out? Believe me, I have my own personal opinion on that, and it's very strong. Maybe I'll have a little walk and talk about that at another time. But it really misses the point. People know what good performance management is. Good performance management is ongoing. Simple as that. You need to be talking about it. Now, let's think back to the gym. I've got this objective, you know, I want to lose weight. Um, realistically, I want to do it by my 40th birthday. So that's in April next year. So I've got about six months that I'm going to be working across. Let's call those my end of year objectives. Now, I'm going to the gym. I've used the machines, I'm losing weight. I've had a little induction around the machines. I know what they are, but is that it? Do we come back in six months and say, hey Adam, how are you doing? Have you lost the weight? Have you got that fitness? Fitness, have you actually managed to lift anything more than the second bar on the uh, shoulder press? And fine, we could check in then and find out whether or not it's happened, but at the same time, what if it hasn't? What if I've been struggling? What if I could have been doing it better? I've been misusing the machines or I've been using the wrong combinations. So, and this is where performance management kicks in. As a manager, you need to be checking in with people on a regular basis to see how they're getting on. Now, if I had a personal trainer looking over my shoulder in absolutely every session, I'm being micromanaged. I don't want that. But at the same time, that six months is too long. So where does it sit? I mean, is it every month, every week? You know, every day is too much, every week, maybe, maybe if I need some sort of intensive support at the start. But you're trying to find out where it fits and it's just, yeah, you should be having a regular catch up, find out how things are going on. And indeed, that touches on it. Like, what should we talk about when we catch up? I mean, you know, fair enough. Uh, how am I doing? We can look at objectives. Where am I now? Where do I want to be? What's my progress between those two things? We can give me an opportunity to talk about the machines I'm using, uh, the struggles I might be having, like I feel I'm making good progress on this one and not on that one. And then you can offer support and advice about, okay, how do we do these things? You know, like, oh, actually, have you tried this? Could you do more? Could you do better? And that's part of it. So, of course, we're not just talking about how I'm doing in the job. We're not just talking about how I'm using each machine. I'm talking about, well, actually, you know, I'm using these machines, but I've always seen those machines over there. They look a bit complicated for me, or that the free weights. Oh, my goodness, free weights. I mean, yeah, it's going to be some time before I get onto free weights. But when I do, exciting times, you know, what is it? Um, and that's training, that's development. It's just like, okay, I hear you, you want to work on that. Maybe we can put some time in, maybe we can talk through those, have some dedicated sessions to it. Develop me further towards other goals. And of course, it's not just about um, 
you know, the actual work, you know, like, how am I getting on? Am I finding the gym a warm and comforting environment? You know, is there uh, some horrible, big, huge, sweaty muscle dude that's bullying everybody? Is there some sort of, you know, guy that's hogging on machines and it makes it frustrating to do my job uh, of losing weight? And so, you know, there's again an opportunity to talk about the work environment, to talk about the troubles that you're having. And finally, of course, and then it's not just about the gym or uh, work, is it? I mean, the thing is, it's just like, the gym's all very well if I'm getting there. Am I getting there? Do I need to sort of say, actually, I'm having some trouble getting to the gym? Do I need to talk about motivating myself to sort of, you know, of coming out? Am I having some family difficulties? They're actually making me hard to fit in the time at the gym. And I can get advice about other options. Could I do some working from home, so to speak? So, uh, you know, a few simple exercises to keep me going. How can we accommodate the achievement of the objectives with my personal life as well? And so, a bit of a weird analogy, but there we go, that's performance management in the nutshell. I've got my objectives. I can be left to it, and I may do them or I may not. But, you know, I'll just be muddling along. If I have my manager, sitting down with me, checking in with me on a regular basis, something that works, of course, for the both of you. Every day is too little. Every year is not enough. Uh, something in between. I'd suggest every fortnight, every four weeks, but at least, you know, once every three months, have a proper conversation. Not just about what you're doing, but how are you getting on with it? What are you, uh, what's going well for you? What are you struggling with? What do you want to do differently? What do you want to do more of? How are you getting on with the people around you? And what is going on at home that we can support you with? Because people are not robots. We want to support each other. We want to offer that helping hand. And that's okay. So please, when it comes to performance management, remember, it's not the annual review. It's not the form. And it's not going to be me weighing myself on my 40th birthday and finding out if I've lost all of the weight that uh, I'm looking to lose right now. It is the ongoing conversation and review of what you're doing now, how you're getting on. So, a little bit about performance management for uh, our morning's walk and talk. Cheerio.